My obligation as the host of The Kelly Files is to make sure the viewers hear it straight. We are going to have the best guests with the best analysis, and I am there to keep everybody honest. It's the news of the day, but with a little heat. Join me for The Kelly File, weeknights at 9. There's that Megyn Kelly promo. We'll get to that in a moment. CNN had touted its documentary on Hillary Clinton as the work of a prize-winning filmmaker. NBC had trumpeted its miniseries as a dramatic rendition starring Diane Lane. The Republican Party so upset that it barred the two networks from hosting any of its 2016 presidential debates. And this week, both CNN and NBC suddenly pulled the plug. David Zurich is back with us, and the news divisions at both CNN and NBC undoubtedly relieved that these projects have gone away. Wasn't this a bad idea heading into 2016? Howie. It was a horrible idea. If you look at the history of the Ravens, uh, the Reagans, uh, <laughs> the Ravens, Baltimore, if you look at the Reagans in 2003, CBS did it, came under pressure because they painted a really negative picture and an unfair picture of President Reagan, Cave. Uh, wound up on Showtime. Yeah. Um, then you get to the Kennedys. History Channel does it. Has to say it's not fit for History Channel, goes to the Reels Channel. This is a bad, bad process. You spend a lot of money, you get a lot of heat, you don't get ratings, and you wind up having to dump it on some little channel. This is, well, who would do this? <laughs> Except. Except in NBC's case, and this is what I really believe, on the chance that Hillary Clinton might be in the White House someday, Comcast does a lot of business, a lot of regulatory business before the FCC. It's nice to have a friend there. That's why I think the Republican Party was right to think it was going to be flattering. Well, NBC <laughs> didn't even really offer much of an explanation. Just said, we reviewed our priorities and somehow it didn't make the cut. But this came hours after CNN announced it was not going forward with its documentary, which is going to be done by this filmmaker, Charles Ferguson. And he really unloaded on the Huffington Post and elsewhere. He, he said he is angry that Hillary's people wouldn't give him any access, no cooperation. He called Bill Clinton a lot. Well, maybe it wasn't going to be a totally puffy. Well, I no. Film. And Ferguson's an Academy Award winner. He is really a good documentary filmmaker. And what happened? As soon as he started asking real questions, the Clinton team went after him and said, "You're going to get no a cooperation." He finally said, "Look, there's no access. There's no possibility for access." But it was worse than that. They were hostile. They were telling people not to talk to him. And that is, I think, anybody in this town who has dealt with them knows that's the way that game's played. He was smart to get out. He was not, I do not believe he was going to do a puff job. Do you think the GOP uh, saying they're cutting off the debates for CNN and NBC was at least a factor in the background? On I think on? it was a big factor because those debates are important to them in terms of image and I think in, even in a way in terms of profitability to be engaged in the presidential election. That does bring you some advertising for those guys. I think it was a brilliant move to say you get no debates. Look at how those all those debates the well, CNN ran on and on and on. I, I think it was a fact. I don't agree that it was a brilliant move to cut two news organizations out of it, but I'm going to leave that for another no, time. The, the, it, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> the, the bottom line is they'll probably get the debates back. Now, uh, as we just saw the promo, Fox News will have his new primetime lineup. First change in 11 years. Greta goes earlier, Hannity goes later, and this new 9 p.m. Uh, newscast, or broadcast, I should say, involving uh, Megyn Kelly. What's your take? I like it. I'm looking forward to seeing Kelly's thing. I think she is. I really do think she's a primetime star. I think she's going to do very well. I think there's, listen, as long as they have Bill O'Reilly as the tent pole, the king, they're going to be fine. But I also really like Greta as a transition from news to opinion because she does it both. And I think she's one of the hardest working people in journalism. She will give you a timely lead in every uh, every night to O'Reilly. I think it's a, I think it looks good. We'll see how it does in ratings, but I think it's really a good move. And Megyn Kelly saying that this is not about her opinions, mostly going to be interviews and stories and you know, the way she has done her afternoon show. David Zerwick, thanks very much for stopping by this Sunday morning.